Ramirez Humphrey, and I live with my family in Los Angeles. It's like me, 12 year old me. I got a you know, draw art of her. I, I really think that was a, the appeal. I think there's a lot of nostalgia for this show as well. Now I'm a humble scarecrow, everybody knows. And most days you can find me in my field, scaring crows. This summer I discover my true self. My future can be anything. Where do I start? Did you think that Cool Cat was going to fight the coronavirus by teaching kids about proper safety etiquette? Or maybe distributing vaccines? Nope! He is literally fighting the coronavirus with his bare paws. Yeehaw, guess what? All 12 of your primos are coming. Eh, Spanish isn't great, but doesn't that mean cousins? They're staying for the whole summer! Drama-rama with a fart fairy freaked me out. But now I'm like, this is, there's a pattern here. You know, this is they've done this more than three times. They, they, they do this a lot when it comes to fart jokes in total drama. And this is a full-on dedicated fart episode, which makes me wonder if this episode is, of course, brought to you by the writer's thinly disguised fetish as it goes. They're all probably going like, what's the point of this video, Saber? Are you just here to rip on farts? <laughs> kind of. This is supposed to be the summer of me! Okay, so this isn't going to be the summer I dreamed of. Here, see? Our main character just challenged our villain, Ragir, to a friggin' dance-off. Go home, Humphrey. You're in the wrong franchise. I THOUGHT THE BITCH WAS WHITE! Smudge on the job! Damn it! I THOUGHT THE BITCH WAS WHITE! <laughs> Fuck! Maybe we could be alone together? Together? I guess we have a lot more in common than I thought. I may not know what the future holds, but I'll take on whatever rolls my way. You see what I'm talking about? How Bertram is like an unpleasant version of Ron Swanson fused with Hank Hill? He has a disdain for government bureaucracy. So does Ron Swanson. Thanks, primos. I got you. So we're just going to spend this whole review comparing it to Alpha and Omega, huh? I'm just saying what everybody else is thinking. These comparisons are really unavoidable.